In a recent video on the Fermentosaurus closed loop transfer, Brad and Kevin both asked if I could show a transfer that I kind of hinted around about at the end of the video, and that was transferring from carboy to keg in a low to no oxygen system. Well, Brad, Kevin, this is that video coming up. How's it going? My name's Brian. I'd like to welcome you to the video. If this is your first time here and you'd like to learn more about electric brewing, see how-to videos just like this one and all sorts of other home brewing related stuff, don't forget to subscribe and if you do, hit the bell so you don't miss a video when it comes out. So let's just jump into it. The first thing that I recommend doing is filling the keg completely to the top with a water star sand solution just like I have in pretty much every other video that I've shown. And what you're going to do when you do that is transfer under pressure with CO2 to a receiving keg and I just do that to kind of leapfrog down the way. Now one of the things that I did do when I did that was instead of getting my big wallpaper tray out and wasting a bunch of star sand and everything, I thought, well, I have star sand and water in the keg and I'm going to transfer it. So I just used the assembly that I'm going to use to transfer from the carboy to the keg to transfer from one keg to another. So what I did was I just put the racking cane down inside of the other keg, hooked up the liquid fitting, and transferred it that way. The other thing I did while I was doing that was I actually slid the cap for the carboy down on the racking cane itself so that as the level of star sand and water came up, it would completely submerge that and sanitize it. So once I got done with all that, everything was sanitized. And then you're just gonna do like you normally would on a previous video that I did about transferring from primary to secondary. And I'm, I'm not gonna debate that. There's a whole debate about whether you even need to do that. So you can do this type of transfer from your primary as well. So you're going to put the cap on and you're going to put the racking cane down in. You're going to hook up the ball lock fitting, the liquid line to the inside of your keg. And what I do is I'll actually put a little bit of pressure in the carboy before I push the racking cane down into the beer and just make sure I have all of the, you know, air and everything. If there's any oxygen in that, in that line and the racking cane that I've removed that before I proceed. So what I'll do is then I'll, hook everything up and then actually open the pop-off valve on the receiving keg and then turn on the gas, let that flow a little bit to displace anything in there and then plunge the racking cane down into the beer and it'll start to flow. Now the thing about this transfer that I'm not doing on like I did on the Fermentosaurus, there's not any carbonation in the beer with this because I didn't ferment it under pressure. So you don't have to do a closed loop transfer with this. You can simply open the pop-off valve hold it in an open position by twisting it when you open it and then transfer your beer under pressure. And then once you get it transferred, then just close the valve, pressurize it, everything is good. I've pretty much about covered almost every single type of closed loop or oxygen, low oxygen transfer that I can think of. There is one more with a bucket and I may do that. I got some inspiration for a thought that I had in my head on, on uh, Instagram from someone. So I may wind up doing that, but if you want to see the video that is of the Fermentosaurus closed loop transfer, just click or tap the screen right here. And if you want to see another video on transferring from primary to secondary with low oxygen, tap or click the screen right here. If you'd like to subscribe, hit that round short circuit of brewers icon now. This has been Brian for Short Circuit of Brewers. We'll see you on the next video.